Hello, and welcome to another episode of, you guessed it, The Shirtless Painter. Anyone can paint, and anyone can paint anything. And today you're joining me on a very special day. It's music day here at The Shirtless Painter. So um, I'm gonna be painting a very special, one of a kind, iconic album cover uh, using this Whitney Houston uh, self-titled album as a base. And don't worry, I have two copies uh, at home, which is why I'm willing to part with one. This one ha has some scratches on it. So all you Whitney heads out there, don't think I would waste a perfectly good Whitney album, which I never would. Okay, great. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, as much as it pains me to do it, we're going to go ahead and sort of get rid of Whitney here. But she'll live on in our hearts. So we'll just go ahead and start laying down a nice space. And we'll be flashing some of the colors we're using on screen, so feel free to take off your shirt and follow along at home, if you're so inclined. All right, look at that. Now, Whitney Houston always said, I want to dance with somebody, but today I'm saying I want to paint with somebody, and that somebody is you. And I, I will always paint with you. That's a promise. It's not a lot of, not a lot that's certain in this world in these times, but one thing you can rest assured knowing is that I will always paint with you. Okay, so just go ahead and sort of cross out your Whitney or whatever album you're working with. Could be, um, Kenny Rogers' Christmas album. Could be classical. Could even be Miles Davis jazz. Okay, so just sort of get a good, good steady coat under there, over there, excuse me. I'm not wearing a coat, but I like to apply a coat. A coat of paint, that is. Okay, great. So, just really fill it in there. Have some fun with it. I'm going for white to just really give it the feel of a um, sort of blank canvas, but as you can see, anything can be a canvas and any color can be a base. Purple. White or purple, let's stick with white or purple, just to keep it simple, but if push comes to shove, you can truly do whatever you please. Okay, so it might slide around a little bit because it is a record album and not a canvas, so that is normal, but just have fun with it. Pretend it's a little ride or a little sort of, remember those shake shacks that you would stand in at, uh, not the restaurant, but the, uh, the carnival ride where you would stand in it and it would kind of shake around. Well, this is the painting version of that. Whoa, just kidding. Just kidding. I normally don't jostle my um, paintings, but what the heck, it's a rock and roll music episode, so we're gonna have some fun. So just go ahead and fill in the lower corners of your Whitney album or Kenny Rogers or whatever you're working with. And perfect. Look at that. Just go across. Just smooth out those seams there. I'd say that's a pretty good base. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I think uh, you could come up with any sort of um, genre of music that you please. I think th in keeping with, uh, you know, the uh, this album was released in the mid 80s, so I'm gonna take that time period and go a different way. This is a little bit mainstream, Whitney Houston, but I think I'm gonna create an iconic punk album cover for everyone to enjoy. So let's go ahead and get our, our punk uh, brush here. And I'm just going to create a band that I would like to see uh, exist. And that band is going to be called... The Sleepy Punks. 
So just, you can, again, your band could be anything you want, could be a solo artist. But for me, I'm thinking punk, baby. So the nice thing about a punk album and a punk aesthetic is that it can be kind of crappy and slapdash, pardon my French, um, but it can be kind of crappy or, though there's no such thing as crappy, only a pleasant, I would call it a pleasant whoopsie. One Man's Crap is another man's favorite album, so. And sound it out if you you know if you're having trouble spelling. Of course. Okay. And since since this is sort of a punk attitude here, I'm not going to worry too much about um, accurate spelling. In fact, I'm going to go for a little bit of a punk spelling by doing an N, and this is a time saver for all of you people on the go. Instead of writing out a K and an S, I'm going to go ahead and save myself a lot of time and just say X. Okay, perfect. Just fill this in a little bit. Great. Okay, so we've got our main uh, album, or excuse me, band name there, and then uh, the next thing is some cover art. Okay, so I think we're going to go for a sort of bare bones, sort of Xerox copy, black, black and white uh, punk album cover, and we're going to show the, the band members here. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my first sleepy punk here. And I'm going to go ahead and this is going to be, uh, I'm not going for any kind of symbolism here. I'm going to have these punks be asleep. So let's go ahead and just make some sleepy eyes. Maybe they're all tuckered out from a long night of being in the pit or, you know, just uh, go ahead and give them a green mohawk. Just sort of... Uh, you know, giving a big F you to the system and to authority and uh, stuff like that. So, go ahead and give our friend a little mohawk here, our sleepy friend. He or she is all tuckered out. And your punks can be any gender, any... I mean, they don't even have to be punks, but it helps. You don't have to be crazy to paint here, but... It helps. It's sometimes a little joke I say to just anyone who will listen. Okay, great. So we got our punk head, and he's all tuckered out. And uh, just right off the bat, since, of course, we can't, you can hear sound when you play the album, but you can't hear sound by, with your eyes looking at the album. But, aha, today you can. I'm going to go ahead and just make some Zs. You've heard of catching some Z's. Well, this is exactly that. So you've heard of this. This old punk is all tuckered out. He's a sleepy boy or a girl. Okay, so we got the Z's. Now we'll go ahead and give this punk a nice sort of leather jacket. I'll have him kind of just maybe sleeping on the street or in sort of a flop house, sort of a punk house. Maybe it's a maybe they sleep in the very same place where they have their shows and dumpster dive for uh, lettuce and nuts and things. Okay, so just create a nice sort of leather, or maybe it's fake leather. If this punk cares about that sort of thing. But maybe he just don't care about nothing, except for sleeping. And I lost my palette knife in a card game this weekend, so I'm not going to be mixing any colors, but 
I do think that sort of works for the... Um, stripped-down punk aesthetic that we're going for. Okay. So I'm just going to make my punk's legs here. And punks have notoriously skinny legs. And you know what? What the heck? I think this punk needs a little something to cuddle up with while he's sleeping. So we'll go ahead and give him a teddy bear. But it'll be a purple teddy bear. So it'll be sort of, you know, the, maybe the teddy bear dyed its hair. Maybe it was sort of a brown color. And uh, the teddy bear just dyed its hair. Maybe it's a real bear. Maybe it's a real baby bear. Let's go ahead and just say that it is. What's more punk than that? Okay, so this punk has has its little cuddle toy to sleep with. And we'll just go ahead and give our little bear face. You've heard of the right to bear arms. Well, you have the right to paint a bear's face, and so do I. So I'm going to go ahead and give the bear some eyes, and a nose, and maybe a little mouth. Maybe just a green sort of belly there. Okay, great. So we'll go ahead and give the punk his shit kicker boots. Stomping boots in case, um, you know, in case he needs to break anything or if some, you know, skinheads show up to the show, the bad kind. Okay, and sometimes you'll have a fly, um, sometimes you'll have a fly buzzing around you, and that's okay. Okay, great, so we've got our first sleepy punk, and um, we'll say uh, this punk is a boy, we'll call him uh, Skiz. We'll say his name is Skiz. So then next, I'm going to go ahead and add one of my, the most punk people I've ever met, my wife. She does her own thing. She doesn't adhere to society's rules unless they work for her, in which case, let sleeping dogs lie. Or should I say, let sleeping punks lie. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and have I'll have my wife just all tuckered out here. Go ahead and give her the sleepy eyes. Just all some eyelashes there. Gorgeous eyelashes. And of course, it wouldn't be my wife without those red lips, those luscious red lips. And we'll go ahead and give her her signature purple mohawk. That's one thing that I'm not going to mess with. She does have a purple mohawk, so. And we'll have this be sort of a straight ahead mohawk. This one is so you could see we're sort of showing the perspective. This one is just mohawk like this, mohawk like that. So do whatever you want. Don't let me tell you how perspective works because, let's face it, I'm not, uh, I'm not an architect. I never claim to be. Okay, great. So um, I'm going to go ahead and make my wife's shirt here. So I think instead of, uh, instead of wearing a regular shirt, Let's have her, she, she went ahead and she sort of repurposed sort of a burlap sack that she may have found in a dumpster or on the street or uh, 
pilfered from some sort of square. So she'll just be sort of sleeping in a burlap sack. Great, so sacks are really easy to uh, paint. They're just sort of a, just sort of a blob, really. Okay, great. And we'll have her wearing some just signature black tights here, maybe with a little tear in them. I think so. I think that's uh, I think that's appropriate. So there's her knees and other knees. And we'll give her some nice green arms, which are just sort of rested in her lap there. Because she's all tuckered out. Okay, great. So we've got the uh, two of the band members here. I think we're going to make this at least a trio or a quartet. So we've got our little bear friend. Let's go ahead and add another uh, another punk to the mix. Okay. Okay. And you know what? I think. Uh, I think it's, I think it would be nice to show some um, differently abled punks. So we're gonna have, we're gonna represent one of these punks being in a wheelchair because you just never see it. And you should. Okay. So, of course, we'll have our punk. We just got sort of our main wheel shape here. And again, this is, feel free to have fun. This one, everything can look kind of crappy and like it's been run over by a car and like it was done by, you know, someone's nephew with, a, with sort of a copy machine, which I think we're pulling off so far. And we'll just yeah, look at that. All tuckered out. I think this punk is going to have some blue hair, maybe some spikes. I've got plenty of mohawks, so let's go ahead and get some just good old spiky, spiky hair. Liberty Spikes. Give me liberty or give me, let me paint. Sometimes I say let me paint or give me death. That's kind of my mod mantra. Just kill me. If paint becomes illegal, well, it will be over my dead body. I will fight for it. That's when I get a little bit punk, when people start to oppress little fly friend who has come to join us. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, get the rest of our punk's body here. We'll have this punk's arm just sort of resting there. Okay. And the other arm will go. The other arm will go here. Just kind of resting. And on the back of the chair, of course. All right, and we'll go ahead and give this punk some blue jeans.
Maybe these jeans are... You know, sort of, uh, they were found on the street, or maybe they're designer jeans uh, bought by his family because this punk is actually a poser. But we're not here to judge. There's no posers on this show. Okay, great. So I think to prove this, I think I've slandered this punk's name by even suggesting that this punk is a poser. So to prove that this punk is chill and not a narc, we're going to go ahead and have him smoking a cigarette. Just to prove he's cool. Smoking a cigarette asleep, so that's pretty dangerous, I would say. I've never met a narc who would smoke a cigarette awake, let alone asleep. Look at that. Still lit. And like every ice cream sundae, every cigarette needs a cherry. I almost want to taste it, but it'll just taste like paint. Okay. Cherry on your cig. Perfect. Okay, great. So we got our main um, we got our main band members here. So I think this album uh, is looking pretty good, but it needs a title. So let's go ahead and give this baby a title. And uh, I think since you know in the in the punk spirit, we're gonna name this album. Anarchy. Just sound it out. This is a tough one. Anarchy. nap. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get some more of our purple here. Okay. All right, well, I've run out of room here, but that's okay, screw it. I don't need the system to tell me how many uh, letters to put on one line. So we'll just go ahead and uh, do our own thing, be ourselves here, and we'll put the P, we'll just put it right up here, right next to the wheelchair. Okay, great. So I'd say that's a pretty cool uh, punk album that I'd like to pick up. I'm gonna take it home, and I feel confident that the music on this record will ha maybe have changed a little bit. It might still sound like Whitney Houston, but who's to say? And if I saw this record in the store, I wouldn't pay a ton for it, but I think I would pay at least $2. I'd say that's worth two bucks. Come on, you got two bucks. All right, thank you so much for joining me on The Shirtless Painter. I encourage you to uh, take off your shirt, raid you or your friend's uh, album collection, and create your own album at home. Uh, I just want to say, uh, uh, the system and um, keep painting. See you next time.